Well, new this morning, the Esperanza Awards, meaning Hope Awards, are given each year to deserving educators throughout our state. Yeah, and I mean, these teachers give us so much hope. This year, there's one teacher in particular, though, who received the award after having endured the loss of her colleague, Kimberly Chavez Bird. So ABC 15's Carla Navarrete shares with us this story of hope and dedication to her students and her community. So we're here to present you with a check for $5,000. For 29 years, Juanita Martinez Insunza, also known as Jenna, has dedicated her life to the classrooms of the Hayden Winkleman School District. Carlos Galindo from Chicanos por la Causa grew up with Jenna and was there last week to award her with one of the four Esperanza Awards. <laughs> you know what we can do with $5,000 in that classroom? Well, that's you. No, that's, that's your yours. money. That's yours. That's yours. That's yours. That's yours. That's me. Nominated by her principal at Leonor Hambly School, Jenna was in shock and disbelief of the prestigious award she received. Jenna, along with the entire Winkleman community, has had to endure a tremendous loss by the pandemic when her colleague and friend, Kimberly Bird, died due to COVID-19. Her co-teacher was Jenna Martinez Insunza. I felt it was a tribute to all the school teachers that have to endure, um, you know, men, and make do with what they have, uh, especially from a small town. With her first and second grade yeah, students surrounding her moments of joy and the majority of her students watching in a Zoom classroom, Jenna received not only $5,000 as an award to her, she also received $2,500 for her classroom. A unique part of the Esperanza Latino Teacher Awards is that it provides exactly what the name says, hope. And we can't forget that the majority of, of school students, K through eight in Arizona are Latino. And, and we have to reinforce the idea that education is important and that Latino and Latina educators are important to our society. Carla Navarrete, ABC 15, Arizona. Carla, thank you. Now, Jenna was one of the teachers who also tested positive for COVID when Kimberly passed away. The two teachers, along with another teacher, were socially distanced in that classroom and wearing masks, putting together packets for students to take home and learn from there.